What is up, guys? Welcome back to Romania. We play CFR Cluj today. 13 games we play currently, unbeaten. But Cluj today, one of the better teams in the league. Can we get the win? Let's find out. Before we get this, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. I had an amazing comment the other day, basically just listing off amazing talents in the youth system here. We were already in the first team, so that's a nice addition, isn't it? So thank you for that, my man. But let's have a look and see how we've been getting on. Look at all these greens. Look at all these greens. It's just disgusting to see, isn't it? Barney getting a goal. Oh, look at it. Just things you love to see. I mean, we played Frau Constant obviously twice. You know that already. But you can see Crayova a 2 2. Today we have Cluj. We have Statue of Bucharest next month. We also play them at the end as well. So it's kind of. Statue of Bucharest, they're a better team than us. They're the best team in the league. Then probably Cluj, I'd say, comfortably. But this season, Cluj having a little bit of a stinker. Statue of Bucharest, 10 points behind. They do have poor games in hand. So you'd have thought that gap would be extremely narrow by the time this is finished. But today, today we do need to look at what we'd be doing with this team. We'll put that on because I don't know who Balgradian is. So in the comment, he mentioned Barney, who obviously is playing advanced playmaker. He played there the majority of last season. He played there this season. He also mentioned Radican. He was on loan last year. He was at Dacia Unire. I assume it was last year. Yeah, Dacia Unire Brela. I mean, 7.17, he had a decent season last year. So he's going to come in at the right mid today. Best Nicky, obviously the striker. He's not really going to get much game time for us, I don't think, this season, but... You have, to, you have to pretend you like him. But this is what we're going with. We have Isanu in goal. We have Radu, Marin, Gieffa and Kretu at the back. We have Rauter and Popa as the defensive mids with Bani as the advanced playmaker. Moldovianu, Radukan and Diafra Sako leading the line. Obviously, Sako will not be here next season, but I needed firepower. We brought Will Briggs on fire and we brought in Diafra Sako in. What more can you ask for when you need firepower than the two main men? But here we go. Keep this run going, lads. Come on. We are at home, so you'd like to think we would get something out of this. Dan Petrescu is still the Cluj manager. But we did a, we, had a, we put a good fight last year. We did put a good fight last year. So fingers crossed the run we're on, we can extend that a little bit further. Only 4,000 in attendance. A bit disappointing. That is something that needs to improve. I mean, money-wise, we're comfortable. But it's nice to always get a few fans in and really boost the boys, Moldviano to Stiafra Sacco can't get a goal in there. 19 minutes in, that would have been a very nice way to kick off this game. Cretu floats the ball in, Sacco cannot get the shot in the back of the net. Balder Griadine doing a good job there. 25 minutes in, they haven't actually done anything yet. We now said that they probably will. They'll probably score the first highlight. But a very, very quiet game in general. Cretu doesn't need to come off. We'll do that at half time. You can see out the rest of the game. Three lads there really needing needing some time away from the game, to be honest with you. Radican. Good delivery to Moldoviano. Diafra Sacco. Lovely interlinking play from the front three there. Nice ball into Moldoviano, giving plenty of plenty of space, plenty of time to see where he wanted to put that ball. Either have a shot or pass it off. He chose the pass. And look at that. The YouTube comment section comes as good as Radican. Basically makes that goal. Love to see it. Diafra Sacco making it 1-0 just before half time. I'm going to pump fists. We can find another gear. I think we can. I think we are better than we are currently showing. Right back wise, we haven't got a right back. So that's an issue. We'll have to see how he does. We'll have to see how he does. Start the second half. Here we go, boys. We love to see it. 48 minutes in. They've had one shot, one shot on target. Of course, it's always going to be on target, isn't it? It's always going to be on target. Right, Moldiano, Barney needs to come off. Deke. See what happens here. Ball is put in. Headed over the bar. I mean, I'm still I'm still recovering from COVID here, guys, so my voice is a little bit... A little bit strained, but it's fine. We're doing okay. I'm going to put Eamon on the, the right... Badu struggling and Moldaviano. I 
we're just, we're, 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 I'm going to make two substitutions. We're going to assess what happens from now. Boss, I, I obviously can't make two subs. So there's three lads that do need to come off. Only one nil up. I'm going to encourage the lads a little bit, I think. So we're doing really well. We outplayed Kluge here very, very nicely. Eamon. Let's back. FIFA. Benita. Moldovianu. Back to Radu. Router. Up to Danita. That's a goal. Repeal <laughs> Danita. <laughs> oh, you that weird cup. I just had a little coffin fit. Got watery eyes. But what? I didn't know he had this in his locker. What a finish. I've basically secured this now. So, what I could really do is I need kind of more. I'll, I'll take Pauper off. I do need to really focus on keeping this victory. Keep Pauper off. Uh, Moldaviano won't need to do too much up front. I mean, he is struggling now. But I can always, you know, move around next. We have Gaz Metian Medius next, who aren't the best club we've ever we'll, we'll play. They're not definitely not as good as Cluj, who can really rotate the team and get some people rest at and what they, that they do really need. But a 2-0 victory against Cluj is very nice. Moldaviano, can we make it three at the end of the game here? Radican can't win the header. Torfan picks it up. He's back in at Ispus. He's all the way back into Pascanu. Back to the team. I think they're losing 2-0. Although the big ball over the top usually ruins my formations. Deke. Radu's off. <laughs> oh, no. We're 2-0 up. Andrea Radu's jumped into that for no reason. And that's kind of annoying. Obviously, you're only out the Medius game, not the end of the world, but still, it's 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 unnecessary when when the game was won, really, which is which is annoying. Thirty-eight points. It's it's vital we do win these games, uh, because obviously, Statue of Bucharest are eventually going to 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 get those games in hand back up. But so, look at that! Look at that! Seventeen games unbeaten. Absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. We love to see that. That is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. But Tachi Bucharest are eventually going to catch up with us. It's, it is just kind of one of those things. We're still in the, the Romanian Cup. But I do believe next time we come back, it will be against Arad. We might as well play out this full month. We do have a long time in between um, the end of October and the, yeah, basically the end of January to get some friendlies in. I do want to play. Like, I think you Sparta Prague's and the Dodge Slam and the shit my pants. Great to see. Do you want to play Sparta Prague again? I'm going to try and get a friendly against them. Um, it's, it's very disappointing. He lost six 0 It's a shambles, really. It's very, very disappointing. But yeah, I'm feeling very positive about this season. Obviously, we know that at the end of this this kind of period, the, the the points get halved. I mean, I wonder if that's still the same case. I mean, obviously. I assume it is, but you don't know whether the World Cup will change that. Won't change, will it? So we are going to get the Champions playoff again. Oh, it's going to be tough. I think this season. I think we're doing. We, we've given ourselves the best platform to start off with. I think. But you know, basically three months in, unbeaten so far. It's going to come crashing down an end, and when it comes crashing down an end, we need to recover quickly. But for now, guys, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below what you think, and stay safe.